Hey guys, welcome back to All in One Law. This is Quick Pediatrics, and today I'm going to talk about the causes. I'm going to list the causes for the bossing of scalp. Okay, so remember the causes for that. So, you know, bossing is nothing but it's a protrusion of the forehead beyond the imaginary line. So, if this is a child, okay, this is nose right and this is a mouth so if you draw an imaginary line over here I think you will notice this okay sorry uh, I'm not good at this actually okay this is eye let me draw the eye over here right okay this is known as what you call the bossing of the scalp okay so there are causes for that remember the most important being the rickets okay and thalassemia really very important you should not ever ever forget thalassemia major that's okay and congenital syphilis congenital syphilis and we have what you call achondroplasia achondroplasia then we have cleidocranial dysostosis cleidocranial this doses just guys my handwriting is not is actually is good because I'm not able to write properly over the what you call the, the screen on the iPad that's why I think uh, it makes you guys very difficult to understand what I'm writing if you guys try to concentrate on what I'm speaking I think that should help you okay guys um, then we have other syndrome that is the hurler syndrome hurler syndrome and that's it. So remember bossing of the skull, rickets, thalassemia major, congenital syphilis, then we have achondroplasia, cleidocranial dysostosis, Hurler syndrome. Okay guys, take care. Thank you.